Is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate worth it? So I've been meaning to make this video, especially with all the buzz around the certification. So let's dive right into it. So first things first, this course is offered on Coursera. And so far this course has a 4.9 star rating, which is definitely very high considering that this course is relatively new. After you graduate from the certificate program, you'll be job ready in less than six months with no degree or experience required. Now that's definitely a very bold statement. So I'm excited to dive a little bit deeper into the skills that you'll learn as well as the outcomes of this program. Thank you to Coursera for sponsoring today's video. And while this video is sponsored, these opinions are completely my own and if you are interested in enrolling in the program you can start a seven day free trial using my link in the description and i would love to hear your experience after enrolling in the certificate program so as with other google certificate programs this certificate does provide a flexible schedule which means that you're learning at your own pace and you can complete it in six months or less but if you do decide to complete it in six months it is at seven hours a week which i think if you have full-time student or work obligations then that timeline makes sense what i also love about coursera certificate programs is the fact that you can have a seven day full access free trial as well as the fact that there is financial aid available. So far, they have 85,000 students already enrolled. And I know when the certification came out, there was a lot of buzz on the news, especially around the fact that they also prepare you for the Security Plus certification, which we'll also dive into a little bit later in this video. So what will you actually learn in the program itself? Based on the course outline, they'll cover cybersecurity fundamentals, how to protect networks, assets, people, and data from unauthorized access and attacks using SIM tools, how to identify and mitigate common risks, threats, and vulnerabilities, as well as hands-on experience with Python, Linux, and SQL. So just based on this description, as a whole. I do think that foundationally, these skills will definitely prepare you for an entry-level role, specifically if you're going into a cybersecurity analyst or an SOC analyst role. A lot of the skill sets and tools that they cover seem to be focused on the defensive security side of things, which I do think is a great place to start since that is also where I got started in my career. I do think specifically things like being able to detect certain vulnerabilities, protecting devices and networks, these are fundamentally on the blue team side of things, but you'll also be able to get hands-on experience using Linux, Python, and SQL. This is definitely a very unique set of tools. Python, I do think is one of the more popular scripting languages even nowadays and for beginners in cybersecurity i typically recommend to learn python or javascript since they tend to be more popular as well as go nowadays which is also becoming more mainstream but python i do think is a very strong common language to learn linux also a very popular one this goes into creating your own home lab using linux and sql i think is one of the most unique ones i've seen in a cybersecurity certificate program and after thinking about this a little bit i do think that since they do mention using siem tools sql is probably the most popular acquiring language out there and having taken classes on SQL in the past myself. Learning it has definitely helped a little bit with being able to create queries for different SIEM tools. So even though I haven't personally used SQL as a cybersecurity analyst in my day job, I do think that it's helpful to learn those foundations so that you at least know what an SQL query looks like. And a lot of the query builders they are going to be using in different SIEM tools are likely going to follow a similar format even though they look a little bit different. So it is nice that you actually get the hands-on experience using SQL that is obviously more popular to start building those foundations early. After you complete the program, you'll also be able to get a shareable certificate that you can add on your LinkedIn profile and your resume. So now let's go into the actual meat and bones of the certification itself. So the certificate program itself has eight sections in total, and there is a high level description. Some of the key things to note is the fact that you'll be learning from cybersecurity experts at Google specifically. I do think that being able to learn from one of the biggest tech companies in the world will definitely be very beneficial for someone who is just starting out as a beginner. You'll be gaining in-demand skills that prepare you for entry-level roles like security analyst, SOC analyst, and more. So those are also the two roles specifically that I called out in the beginning of this video. After completing the certificate, you can actually directly apply for jobs at Google and over 150 US employers, including American Express, Deloitte, Mandiant, which now is a part of Google after a relatively recent acquisition. And something I mentioned in the beginning of this video is the fact that this certificate program helps prepare you for the CompTIA Security Plus exam. And you'll be able to earn a dual credential when you complete both. So the CompTIA Security Plus certification is actually also the certification that I took when I was about a year into my career. And I do think it has made a very, very big impact in terms of the roles I could apply for, the types of companies who are willing to interview and hire me. And personally, I think that if there are two candidates who have similar levels of experience and one of them has their CompTIA Security Plus certification, that already puts them a cut above the rest. And because the CompTIA Security Plus certification also doesn't have any years of experience requirements or previous credentials to take and pass their certification exam, it's really a great way for beginners to be able to get these two dual credentials with the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate and the CompTIA Security Plus under your belt. This, I think, will be more than enough to prepare you for that entry-level role in cybersecurity, especially if you're interested in going into an SOC or a security analyst role. The program itself has 170 hours of instruction, and you'll also be getting some hands-on practice in lab that simulate real world cybersecurity scenarios. Personally, I think one of the most important parts of a certificate program is the hands-on learning and the labs that you'll be working on. You can learn as many cybersecurity fundamentals and foundations as you need to, but you really won't be able to dive deeper into the material, the technical skills, the tools that you'll be using, unless you do hands-on projects and hands-on labs. So I'm really glad that it's also part of this course. So these are the eight sections that are part of this certificate
of your program specifically. First up, Foundations of Cybersecurity. This one I think is relatively straightforward. You're essentially learning the basic knowledge that you'll need for a cybersecurity analyst role, the impact of cybersecurity attacks, what it means to be in cybersecurity, the NIST cybersecurity framework, as well as common tools used by cybersecurity analysts. Next up is Managing Security Risk. This is definitely a very important part of cybersecurity. This includes identifying the security threats, risk, and vulnerabilities to business to an organization, how to use security frameworks and controls to protect business operations, learn about common SIEM tools, as well as actually getting a chance to respond to threats, risks, and vulnerabilities, aka an incident response playbook. So this definitely covers the gamut of a lot of what you'll see and do as a cybersecurity analyst or an SOC analyst on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything from identifying those threats to mitigating them to following an organization's incident response playbook, which are all the steps that you take when an incident actually does occur. For example, what stakeholders will you have to reach out to? What communications are being shared with the customer? How are you able to quarantine those assets? And of course, the incident retrospective. Course number three is on networks and network security, where we'll be able to learn how to define the types of networks, how data is sent and received over a network, how to secure a network, as well as system hardening. They mentioned that skills that you'll gain include cloud networks, network security, hardening, network architecture, as well as TCP IP. So I want to call out that they do cover cloud networks, which I think is very important. As I mentioned in other videos, with so many companies switching over to a public cloud infrastructure or hybrid cloud infrastructure, there's going to be a need for cybersecurity professionals to be able to understand the differences between the cloud and someone's on-prem database. And knowing this knowledge going into a job, especially as a beginner, honestly can really give you an advantage if you eventually want to go into a cloud security role down the line. Course number four is the very interesting one. This is on Linux and SQL. Here you'll be learning about operating systems, applications, and hardware, as well as comparing a GUI versus a CLI, navigating and managing file system using Linux commands via bash shell, and using SQL to retrieve information from a database. But I do think that one of the core skills here is being able to navigate Linux, also be using bash, which if you're ever using bash scripting in a future role, this will be able to set you up for that. And because Linux is a very popular operating system used by many organizations, especially in the back end, I do think that is a very invaluable skill to learn, especially if you haven't used Linux before. In course number five, you'll be learning about assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. This is also personally something that I work on on a day-to-day -day basis as a cybersecurity analyst. You'll be learning how to classify assets, analyzing an attack surface, identifying threats like social engineering, malware, and other exploits, as well as threat modeling. In course number six, you'll go over security detection and response, where you'll learn how to identify the steps to contain, eradicate, and recover from an incident, analyze packages on a network, understand basic syntax and components of signatures in an IDS and an NIDS tool, as well as perform queries in SIEM tools to investigate an event. So I do think that this will directly tie back to some of the SQL foundations that you'll learn to be able to create queries in the SIEM tools that you'll be using. In course number seven, you'll be learning how to automate tasks with Python. Since Python is a relatively lightweight language and is quick and easy to use for cybersecurity professionals, it is a very popular language to use to automate various different things. And I do think that coming out of a cybersecurity certificate program with some scripting slash programming skills is always going to be a plus. And you'll be learning how to debug code, use regex, learn how to create Python functions, and learn how Python is being used in cybersecurity. And then finally, in the last part of the course, you'll be preparing for the cybersecurity job search, which includes applying for your cybersecurity jobs, preparing for job interviews, becoming a part of the cybersecurity community, as well as an extra thing they've thrown in here for escalating a security incident. And just to give you an idea of the job prospects for a cybersecurity analyst or an SOC analyst, the median US salary for cybersecurity is more than $100,000 per year, with 213,000 US job openings in cybersecurity and 75% of certificate graduates reporting a positive career outcome. You'll also get access to career resources like resume reviews, interview prep, as well as career support. And of course, after completing the program, being able to get connected with 150 plus companies that are hiring organizations as part of the certificate program is definitely another huge, huge plus because you'll have a much higher chance of being directly connected with a company and of course, getting the career support that you need while applying for jobs. And now in terms of whether this certificate program will prepare you for the CompTIA Security Plus certification, this actually is a question specifically in their FAQ where they mentioned this certificate program help you prepare for the CompTIA Security Plus exam. And again, mentions the dual credential when you do complete both. And when you do graduate from the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate Program, you can also get access to the CompTIA Security Plus exam and training at a discounted price. So that in itself, I think is another win, especially when you consider the cost of this certificate program. So most certificate programs that I've seen and probably you've seen as well are typically going to be thousands range. And this one specifically is offered by Google on the Coursera platform with Coursera being one of the biggest learning platforms out there and Google being one of the biggest tech companies out there. In the US and Canada, Coursera charges $49 per month after the initial seven day free trial period. And they do mention that they believe this course can be completed in less than six months with under 10 hours per week of part-time study. So most learners can complete this course for less than $300 USD. And in other countries where Google career certificates may be available, this cost may be lower. So personally, based on this price, as well as the fact that you'll also get a discounted price for your CompTIA Security Plus exam, I do think this is very, very worth it, especially being able to add both dual 
Google credentials into your resume and LinkedIn when you're applying for jobs. It will definitely make you stand out a whole lot above other candidates. And don't forget that this pricing is based on part-time study. So let's say if you're able to complete the exam in 15 to 20 hours per week instead of 10 hours per week, you could easily cut that price lower if you're able to keep up with the material in the course. There's no background knowledge or experience required to enroll in this course itself, and you don't need to have any prior SAR security experience either. So after you graduate from the program itself, some of the resources available to help with the job search process include free job search support, one-on-one -on -one coaching, mock interviews using an interview practice tool, as well as access to a job board that are specific to the graduates of the SAR security certificate program. So hopefully this video gave you an idea of what you can expect from the Google SAR security professional certificate program. And again, you can start a seven day free trial for this program linked in my description below, which I think will be a huge benefit in addition as a credential to your resume once you graduate from the program itself and start applying for entry level cybersecurity roles. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. For future videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!